Hi guys, what's going on? It's the Digital Tutor here with another step-by-step -step tutorial. And in today's video, I'm just going to shoot how to fix if you've got a high ping in Roblox in 2021. So this is two uh, methods I'm going to go through. And these are currently working as of 2021. But if any new methods or updates do become available, what I'll do is pop a link to that video at the top of the page. Um, if you find this helpful, please leave a like and drop a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more step-by-step -step tutorials, how-tos and tips and tricks for everything tech and digital related. So what we're going to do is just come across to roblox.com and you just want to go ahead and log into your account. And the first thing we're going to do is just click onto our settings icon, which is this gear icon in the top right hand corner. And then we just want to click on settings. And the first thing we want to do is actually check in the settings that we've got the location set correctly. Um, so sometimes it does set it to something different to what it should be. So at the moment you can see my location, which is down here. It's currently set to United Kingdom, which is where, where I'm at. Um, sometimes it could be set somewhere different, which means you're going to be using a different country servers. And therefore that's going to create a high ping and cause the lag and glitching. Um, so you just want to make sure that's set first of all to the right location. If that's okay or if it needs to change in, just go ahead and click the save button. And the second thing you can try is if you come across to google.com. And then what you want to do is just put something along the lines of a Roblox general uh, connection problems. And that's going to bring up some results. What you want to do is actually click the first result that comes up. You'll see why in a minute. If you just follow what I'm going to tell you. And this is going to help with the ping as well. So we're just going to scroll a bit down the page. And we want to get to this section here. Which says make sure the appropriate ports are open. So what's going to happen is sometimes your internet provider might automatically close these ports. Um, so we just want to check that these are open and if not, we're just going to add those uh, to allow that to connect to our router properly and therefore reduce the ping to a low ping. So to do this, what we're going to do is come down to our search bar and we need to open up our firewall. So it's this one here, Windows Defender Firewall. This is absolutely fine to do, so don't, don't be alarmed. It's, uh, you know, you, you can do it. This is actually coming from the Roblox support site so it's perfectly fine to do. Once you've opened this what you want to do is come to the left hand side and click onto advanced settings and once you've clicked onto advanced settings that's going to load up a new window which looks like this and what we want to do is come to the menu on the left hand side just over here and we're just going to go and click onto inbound rules. Uh, so from here what we want to do is come to the right hand side under actions and then we want to click uh, new rule which is just here okay so this is going to open up a new window um, so I'm just going to take you through this step by step so what, what we want to do is actually click onto port so we just want to click this radio button and then we want to come down and click onto next so what's going to happen, it's going to come up with this screen and it's going to say, does this rule apply to TCP or UDP? If we go back to the uh, support page, you can see that says UDP and then it's got a number. So what we're going to do is just highlight the number, the whole number. And then we're going to copy that and you can see it says UDP. So if we come back to the firewall and just change that to UDP. And then what we're going to do is just copy into here and paste that number. Um, also what you want to do is just make sure there's no uh, spaces. So you just want to get rid of these spaces but leave that little dash in between the two sets of numbers. So once that's done we're just going to go and click next. And then we're going to leave that as it is saying allow the connection and click next. Uh, you want to make sure all these boxes are ticked and then click next and then you just need to go ahead and give this rule a name so I'm just gonna for example call it something like um, 
uh, Roblox uh, high ping ping. You can put a description, but you don't have to. That's optional. And then you just want to go ahead and click finish. So you can see that's now been set up as a rule. So that's going to also lower the ping. Um, I'm not sure if you do have to do this, but you can also set this up in the outbound rules as well. So it's the same process. You click onto outbound rules and then you go ahead and click the new rule tab. And again, that's going to load through the box and you just go through the steps again, just to set a rule up for um, outbound rules. Um, but yeah, that's two tips. I've actually tried them myself and I found that it did actually help with uh, some of the lag I get sometimes and the glitching out and it does help reduce the ping down. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. If that did help, please leave a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you do want to help support the Digital Tutor channel, there is a link in the video description down below. If you go ahead and give that a click, you'll be able to buy the team here a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.